cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, nah, fucking like. Ah, uh, welcome, friends. <laughs> Jump to the campfire. We're going to be telling you some 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 topical topics with the camping buddies this is episode 14 with miles your host yeah say hi 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 hi, hi. <laughs> and then we got all the other co-hosts that's honk say hi <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I didn't hear you. It's I like acknowledged the guys. camera. And then I didn't, your camera's on on. I'm sorry, you can't see me. <laughs> and then we got Alyssa on drums. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa on drums. Oh, wow. That was probably the cleanest that was the most intro. Colorful I've ever had. intro. <laughs> uh, yeah, hook him in. Yeah, I'm fucking hooked. Wait, I'm what hooked. the? F Yo, what? What's what's that fucking sound in the background? Yo, what the fuck? On Hector's. Heck, is that my heater? Yeah. I'm at. You're gonna have to freeze for an hour. Dude, dude, it's like 28 degrees here. That sucks. <laughs> Supposed to oh, snow what? tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh, it snowed at my house. I hate it. I love snow. It snowed all over the mountains around me. <laughs> yeah. Not here. Yeah. It just it's just been raining a lot. And I was literally thinking today, I was like, when I move to Washington, this is how it's gonna be all the time. Can't wait. Well you're, you're gonna be here depressed. in the summer. Oh yeah, this no. I was literally just saying it's like humid and shit, isn't it? Mm, no. It's actually really dry last summer and during the heat wave. It felt like fucking Arizona. Well, Lisa has trees. Yeah. That's and, about it, though. And rivers. That's pretty sick. You gotta drive to those. And needles in the street. Oh. oh. That's boring, There's actually a shit ton of homeless, and it's pretty annoying. Yeah, that I did notice that when I went up there last. It's gotten worse, I'm pretty sure. Oh, fuck. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Enough about those anyway. fucking homeless. Um... <laughs> What's the uh, what's the first thing that we want to run up on? Is it or we, we, uh, so we yeah? What are we leading off with? We need to talk some switch sports because I think that's probably the most uh, interesting topic of them. Uh, did any sure. of you, yeah get into it? Did any get of it. you guys uh, yeah, play the original Wii up. Sports or Wii Sports Resort? Fucking yeah, obviously. I both of them. I so my stories from that is one that one black dude, the one black me character that was for some reason a god at every single game you played and like the final boss. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, my other story is that my mom wasn't good at anything else except for wakeboarding. She still to this day holds the wee high score for wakeboarding, and I don't know how the fuck she does it. Is uh, that worldwide? Um, honestly, I think I did check her high score. She's at least, like, a top five since the last time I checked it. Really? Uh, yeah, nice. she was insane at the wakeboarding, and I always made it a challenge to beat her, and wow. I just yeah. never fucking could, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing wrong. Like, my mom was just... Was there she, any, like, like skill know. to what she does, or does she just, like, fucking it... all the shit around? Well, like, you know how, like, you, like, do, like tricks in midair or something and then you like yeah. have to like stabilize the joy the i almost said joy con but like the wiimote yep yeah so like that's all you're fucking doing and like she's somehow like like i can't pass that somehow i don't know what she's doing differently than me but i can never do it she's just better I also used to fly the plane all the time thought that that one was really fun oh fuck yeah i loved plane. going down the volcano that's yeah, same, same. All of the the bike riding ones were my favorite. Oh, you know what? There was an obstacle course one that no one like ever paid attention to. If you, if you had like the uh uh the board, I forgot what they called it. The uh the Wii Fit. Oh, yeah, like yeah. the Wii Fit board. A fit board, yeah. Yeah, you could like do an obstacle course, which I thought was mm -hmm. honestly really cool. But, and the sword. the sword, the sword, the fucking sword, sword fighting. Play. Yeah, 
That's what oh. I was really talking about with that black dude. He was a fucking menace. Mm-hmm. No, he was the <laughs> God, best in yeah. boxing. The boxing. Oh, the boxing. The boxing. He was. <laughs> He was you better make a hat. cameo in the new one. A cameo, I swear. <laughs> People yeah, are gonna I be like wearing the, like, t-shirts. I wonder how different the graphics are gonna be. I saw a little, like one picture from what it's gonna look like, and it's. I'm pretty sure it looks a lot different. People are actually There's really upset. Yeah, people are yeah. upset. I haven't seen the actual footage. So, to my yeah, knowledge, look... yeah, to my knowledge, they don't look fucking ridiculous anymore they actually look they like look straight people. out of like a fucking anime cartoon or something yeah they look they look a lot like, better than they really did good? yeah they look pretty cool yeah and like everyone's pissed like it was the simplicity of the meme of the me's that made them so much fun they were the cultivators of the avatar on the internet and it's like mm -hmm. just shut the fuck up all right i'm just trying to <laughs> like i'm just trying to have a fucking nostalgic trip here i mean these are still pretty simple it's not like yeah it's not ruining like they're fucking anything. overbearing if anything it's just a little bit higher detail that's a yeah, it's just before detail. I couldn't have my fucking hair, and now I might be able to. You know what I mean? It's not just a yeah. fucking bowl cut or something. No, I'm I'm looking at one that's pretty close to your hair, actually. That's good. It looks oh, like wait, Bangalore. Yeah, they had like a lot of options, like a lot of customization options, actually. Mm -hmm. It just was all also really basic at the same time. Yeah. I I don't like they like you could like move your facial features around, but mm -hmm. that wouldn't make it any like more lifelike. Yeah, you like, could make some dumbass looking me's too. There is there yeah. is like actual her. speed runs. There is literal speed runs of people like making Peter Griffin the me character. <laughs> <laughs> like Fuck. time. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're on record. We're on record pace. Like that That's sweaty hard. guy. Like mm, uh, <laughs> I think I see that meme. I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did the uh like the Wally one. Like I think I followed a tutorial way back when for like a Wally me character. It's probably on my like 3DS now, but still. I think I made Obama once. Like <laughs> love that. Love that. Yeah. Yo, hold up. I don't think they're gonna have the airplane in this one though. Why not? Because you can't fly like... into people into a city. That's probably why. Yeah, that's probably that's probably for I the better. I comicized the shit out of that little town, <laughs> and these people like so freaking the, freak the fuck out. That was. I used oh, to God. give my mom motion sickness whenever she'd watch me play it. <laughs> the fuck. Gosh. I was, I was that You're was just playing that wrong, or like? No, I'd just be doing like barrel rolls or like little oh, fucking okay. upside down flying. Yeah. But that was always fun. Mom passed out. We get to stay up late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's foaming at the mouth. Let's fucking oh go. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, the dog fights were pretty fun too with the with the airplanes. I forgot about that part. Yeah. Where you can shoot. Why the, the fuck and stuff. did they have that? This what is sport hot, is that? Just a fun thing. This is a hot take, but I absolutely hate dog fighting in video games whenever it's necessary to finish the game oh uh, you know what it's probably because there's it's so fucking painful to like actually hit them like there's always like one more plane that it's like if it's not in a group of other planes then it's super fucking annoying it's yeah and they Just like fly get over better. you behind thanks <laughs> i'll get fucking better <laughs> <laughs> Why? You piss your pants. Um, but yeah, it looks like they only have what, volleyball, birdie, <laughs> bowling, soccer, sword fighting, and tennis. Tennis, tennis side. would get fucking wild. Yeah, tennis, tennis, <laughs> tennis, I'm excited about. Yeah, but it looks like the same thing as uh, birdie. Is it called birdie? Racket ball? No, no. racket ball is totally it's, different. Uh, yeah, it's the thing is called a birdie. Yeah. Fuck, oh, what is the fuck is that called? Ba ba badminton. 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 Yeah, Jesus. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think about that. But yeah, so badminton and tennis seem like pretty much the same thing though. No, so no, badminton. badminton takes a little bit more, I think. 
Well, no, I feel like bad well, it's all can't the touch the back. floor. It That's can't touch the floor. Way. But yeah. I see, like, the little screen grab thing. It looks like the net is, like, the same height for it. Yeah. Like, the same height as tennis. But in but the actual badminton. Different. Yeah, but in, like, real life badminton, the, it's like a volleyball the net is, like, the size of a volleyball net. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the game, it's the size of a tennis net. Oh. Badminton was They're honestly just... so much fun in high school. Do you remember playing that yeah, shit, Kelly? I used to spike that shit on fuckers. <laughs> In high in, did we play Batman in high school? Yeah, we played Batman. I mean, if you didn't, then you had a fucking shitty freshman year. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember doing any of that. I think I was more into volleyball. Volleyball. I hated volleyball. How come? Oh, it hurt my arms. It well, wasn't yeah. fun. It's yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah, toughen would... you up. <laughs> I was actually really good at the serving portion of volleyball. Everyone else, yeah, I like serving. Else. Oh yeah, my arms had no strength. All my strength was in my legs because soccer. Also, why I didn't like volleyball. <laughs> no mm-hmm. legs involved. You can be an armless do do soccer. I think you can use your feet in volleyball, right? No, no. What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> use your toes. No, you have to like, dive. Yeah, uh, I feel like I've like. Uh, you thought know, you I feel like I've seen in kick shows or whatever, stratosphere. like they like dive, but like sliding with their feet first, and like just before the ball hits the ground, their foot hits it. No, no, that's for, you have like... to monkey grip the ball with your toes. Wow. To spike. <laughs> you have to like watch your toes like <laughs> like wrap around the fucking base of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like not touching it. They're like, "Ew, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. Win by forfeit. Fucking <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. But Switch uh, Sports and it releases April 29th. Oh really? Not That's too soon? not too far. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually so hyped. People will like literally pay sixty bucks for that, like no problem, hands down. And then oh yeah, literally That's... forget it in a year. Yeah, and it has that that thigh attachment thing though for soccer. Oh, really? Like you could put like a little harness around your thigh. And put yeah, it's a little strap it? where you put the Joy-Con in, and like you simulate kicking the ball in soccer, and it looks like Rocket League kind of soccer too. Rocket which League, I think it's funny. Soccer. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it looks like Rocket League, but instead of cars, it's your me. You know. I thought you were gonna Wait, say your me. or. Like, like I'm pretty sure the ball is big. Oh. Like, oh. it's the size of your body, and, like, the arena kind of looks similar to Rocket League. Funky. You know what's yep. funny? What's up? Mm. For trademark reasons, they probably can't call them knees anymore. Wait, why, why not? Because they the look different? Or... Wait, yeah, why, why can't... They, if they own knees, why can't they call these knees? I call them sweeze. For the switch, oh my god! It's gonna be the first three, like the Swee with three uh eyes. <laughs> the cat's going crazy. Swee, <laughs> the Swee. Damn, the um, lady going wild the over there. She's going wild. ham. Don't do it. Don't jump. <laughs> do a flip. Do a flip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have to remember to add a glizzy for this one so Honk doesn't fucking leave. Give me the glizzy! Dude, did you see the (laughs) review? I left it. He left an entire paragraph on why he's mad. I I was emotional about it. He's so upset. (laughs) Yeah, I was a little upset. (laughs) A little, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um. I feel like but, we, or sorry, I feel like no. Switch Sports is just like one of those things that everyone can be nostalgic about. Like, everyone probably played Switch Sports, or I mean, Wii Sports. Well, sports. Not the yeah. broke people. I mean, even if you were broke, I feel like you ended up playing it at a friend's house or something. True. Yeah. Probably. Or like at a yeah. daycare. They had that at daycare a lot, a lot of the times. Really? 
Yeah. I didn't go to daycare. So. I didn't go to daycare. Oh. You didn't have daycare you money. You soured yourself. Oh, that's that's cool. Your guys' parents loved you. That's cool. Um, <laughs> is there even a daycare <laughs> in Anza? The oh, fuck. No, I wasn't born no, and just raised in Anza, honk. <laughs> I wasn't you born and raised in Anza, no. I was I well, lived I thought there. you moved there when you were really young. Yeah, I, I moved there when I was like eight. But like I went to daycare oh. before that. And I was and I wasn't even really referring to that. I like I, I guess it's kind of an obscure thing, but like uh anytime we went to Vegas we stayed at the New Orleans and uh at the New Orleans they have this like legit ginormous daycare like the jungle gym in this shit is like the size of like a fucking mansion this shit is fucking huge and then like behind that jungle gym is um like a little game center and behind that was like a little theater and to the left of that was like a snack bar like a whole little cafeteria for the kids it was fucking paradise fucking amazing i regret being old um but at that <laughs> little video game thing they i'm pretty sure they had wii sports that's why i, I made that connection because i feel like i've played it more than there as well so wow so that's why you feel so wow. heavily feel so a strong attachment to this game well that um, and just... my mom kicked my ass at it but <laughs> mm -hmm. all right so more info on it um so they are going to be called me's yeah. Oh. Um. So yeah, just the six sports. Um. Oh, wait, where six. the fuck did it go? I feel like they're gonna add more as DLC. Watch. Um. Yeah. Volleyball, badminton, bowling, soccer, chambara, which what is swordplay, oh, and okay. then tennis, and then they plan a uh in a fuck a update in autumn for golf. I hated golf. golf I I actually liked golf. I thought it was kind of it's fun. It's probably like the that more fun bad. way of playing it. Honestly. Oh, but it's not gonna have baseball. I loved baseball. Oh, I didn't care for baseball. I Single. Think. I liked bowling. <laughs> bowling was a lot of fun. I can't wait for that. Bowling was only fun to throw it backwards ball. at the knees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or destroy your father at it. I was always better than my dad at that one. But I can you never beat him in. What? Yeah, anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> what? I said you had a dad? <laughs> we're just, we're just... I, I thought I heard... Oh. Uh -oh. Did, we lose, did we lose Kelly? I think we did. It's like he fell down a hole. <laughs> I thought I heard... I'm good. <laughs> you, like, you like, uh, roboed out... Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can yeah, hear you. you're good. Alrighty. I want to bring up one thing, and one thing only. What's that? Is that Switch games, they have a very small, like, attention span and a very small shelf life when it comes to, like, mass audience, like, mm -hmm. revenue, you know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. Like, everyone's like, oh, they're so fucking cool, Animal Crossing, and to... Uh, yeah. And Switch. yeah. <laughs> I got my Switch to play Animal Crossing. I've played Animal Crossing for like a total three months. Uh, that's nothing compared to like Apex and Overwatch and any other game. You like, like, you like just... practically beat the game though. Well, in a way. I like, never got, got a like really a modern star mind. island. No. Oh. I think you're I don't know how you beat it. She's meowing. She can hear the baby crying. Oh. She's like, I'm gonna come over there and the baby? beat that little shit's ass. Uh, my my older sister has a baby. Oh, okay. Her niece. Yeah. Her, niece. Her, her My nephew. Her nephew. What the fuck? Why'd you say niece? You confused me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking um, dog. But yeah, <laughs> fucking Animal Crossing. I bought the Switch. For Animal Crossing 2, and I really didn't. I didn't play it nearly as much as Alyssa did. I just asked Moles if we could play Animal Crossing soon today or yesterday. He said no. I said fuck no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> A correction, it was fuck no. 
No, it was no whore, but whore was spelled wrong. It was who are, <laughs> <laughs> accidentally. It was who are. <laughs> That's French for whore. <laughs> I think the idea of it is really nice, like making a bunch of animal friends and like kind of playing the Sims. But mm. if you're like an adrenaline junkie that's been living off a of fucking Wii Sports sword play, <laughs> yeah, like and RPGs, and stuff. <laughs> Our, yeah, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna come while playing this game. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna get edged. <laughs> That's a bad example. You're but... you're really selling this. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> Kelly, I couldn't have put it any better myself, really. <laughs> Fucking solid analogy there, buddy. Like you get Very so good. much like um what's that dopamine that drug that your mind so you get so much dopamine from like dopamine. games that like Wait, yeah, wait, is dopamine the sleepy or the happy? Happy. There's dopamine and there's serotonin. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Those are the happy ones. I didn't know Melatonin is the sleepy one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like a game made for people who don't really are not really that into that video into video games. Like yeah, casual. Yeah. It's it's like yeah. it's like an equivalent to like playing like a phone game kind of for them. Yeah, that's what my sister they, like, is. Normally do. She only plays that game. She's one hundred percent about that game. That's the mm-hmm. one she plays. Is that her Minecraft? Honestly. Yeah. Plus is over here. Which, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's like me. Minecraft. That's me. That's me. <laughs> I want to play Minecraft. <laughs> I've been pimping out our little world, Alyssa. I made you a fat ass staircase. Forever. Yeah. Oh. I made a bunch of. Yeah. Let's not talk about it here. Yeah. What? Fuck you guys. Let's not here. Play with us. <laughs> Kelly's like, let, let, no, we're we're being we're being watched. <laughs> not in front of the internet. Not in front of the internet. Yeah. So are we switching to the next topic, or are we still about the topic? Um. Can. No, I think that pretty much covers yeah. fucking switch sports i uh, we're all gonna are we all gonna get it switch sports please switch i'm sports. definitely gonna get it i'm switch definitely sports. getting it fuck you no, kelly not. you're not gonna get it we're not no. gonna have a bowling you're party not, you're not gonna play with alan no what <laughs> that can that? make or break your relationship what are you doing <laughs> pretty solid as is we well, you, well you don't know that you haven't tested it on switch sports <laughs> I'm uh, i think i think with wii sports like you said most switch games don't have like the best shelf life i think stuff like wii sports does like things that are like a group game that you can play with friends like things like smash bros wii sports mario um, kart probably mario kart is. mario party mario party is uh, uh, mario bros I'd say the biggest exception would be like Super Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild is still mm. to this day being sold a yeah. ton. Mm, I feel like it's kind of retired though. Yeah, um, they're going to make a new one. Well, yeah, it's slowing down now that the new one's been announced. But... They made that, um, what was it? Link's Awakening? Yeah, that was like a. It was. I don't know if that was the same studio that did the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Uh, but that I thought that was really cute. I don't think that one had nearly enough or nearly as much attention as Breath of the Wild. It was a party favor compared to the games they got. Yeah. Um. It's really cool. Though. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. 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 We yeah. can move on now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh does anyone want to take the next one i feel like the one that we want to do all right you know we'll, we'll, we'll do surprisingly good movies what, what uh, honk you honk, oh, or, no kelly movie. kelly you take that shit away sorry that was your topic you chose my topic hey all right big. i'm gonna paint the scene real quick you're <laughs> you're sitting in your bed right and you're like fuck like what's a good movie just to fucking watch and you watched all the good ones 
as in your mind right now, there is no good one. So your expectations is low for the next one you just randomly choose. And let me tell you, the movie that I've chose that was like pre proposed destiny from the fucking universe. Like, you're going to love this fucking movie. Cherry 2000. Cherry 2000. Cherry 2000s. It's an 80s schlock B movie movie. It's got sci fi, romance, action, adventure. Super fucking cool. Would you like to know what it's about? I fucking uh, guess so. Give a little recap. So there's a man. It's in the distant future. Uh, love has to be between a lawyer and two people. Like, or the two people and their lawyers. Because it has to be like, okay, we're going to schedule something out. We're going to have sex tonight. And then probably tomorrow we're going to foreplay a bit. And she's like, we didn't fucking agree on this. You're, we're done with, you know. It's very like scheduled. It's not very romantic. So a man tries to defy that by having a sex robot that he tries to be like really intimate with, kind of like Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Yeah. It's yeah, something sort of like that. And that model is named Cherry two thousand. And they were having like intimacy in the suds of a of a sink because it kept on overflowing. And she was like, "Fucking kiss me!" And then they make out, and she started short short circuiting. I'm sorry. And he's like, fuck, I want my girl back. So it's like, okay, he goes to the place where you get new girls. And it's like, the other one's like in a fucking desert, like super fucking far. And you have to like go past a wasteland to go get her. So he hires this like tracker girl and she's super cool. Her name's E. Johnson. She got bright red hair. She's super fun. I love the actress who plays her. And she's like, um, like a badass extraordinaire. They get like their car. Cause they're both in a car driving to the desert and they get their car like uh, magnetized to a giant crane and they're like shooting rockets off the fucking car into what? people <laughs> gunning them down. It's so fucking cool. Like and they go down this, work. Oh, it's like they go down a giant drainage tunnel with a magnet and they slide down this giant fucking water slide. It's so fun. But he realizes in the end that he doesn't need a sex robot. E Johnson was the love he was looking for. Because wow. they had to choose. Went it's like quite a bit to figure that out. That sounds kind of cool, actually. It's so much fun. Cherry 2000, I think it's on Amazon Prime. That's where I watched it. And I mm-hmm. have it on Blu-ray right now. Hmm. You just like randomly picked this movie? Yeah, the the poster really appealed to me. I was like, that looks so... Like, it showed E. Johnson, the character. And you I judged like, oh, the cool. book by its cover. I'm glad I did, <laughs> honestly. It worked out. No, that you know, I can follow up with that. Uh, how many people here have seen the boy? The boy. The boy. The so, pup. The... Yeah. So you remember Annabelle? I'm sure all of you know Annabelle. Um, yeah. So the boy came out in. It was in Red Box. I didn't see. I didn't see anything about it being in theaters. I can't remember anything about that. Right. But my dad was like, my dad was a fucking red box guy. He always fucking sucked at returning those things. Yeah. So we ended up oh. buying them. Um, but so he got the boy. We were all sitting down watching the boy. And the only thing that I can say was really weird about this is like, for some reason, she did start to care for the fucking doll. But this movie had one of the best twists I've ever fucking seen in a movie in my life. Like... Wow. They never allude to this at all the entire movie, but so, like, you think that the doll is, like, haunted and, like, fucking possessed, you know, like how Annabelle is, and it's, like, making all this weird shit in the house happen, right? Mm-hmm. No. That motherfucker is living in the walls! There is a whole dude in the walls of the house that's, like, moving the doll and, like, killed killed people in a fire, and, like, that's why he wears, like, a porcelain mask. It's because, like, his face got fucked up in that fire. It was such a good twist. Like, just straight out of fucking nowhere that, like, actually shocked me. So I can only give that movie, like, a good rating because of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a horror movie. Okay. But it's one that I actually liked. It was pretty wild. There, there was, like, a there was like an abusive ex-boyfriend for some reason that came by to, like hit his fucking 
Yeah, pretty much. Like he got, he was like, um, they like heard like running around in the walls after the ex boyfriend broke the doll. Like he smashed the doll's head, and so they started hearing shit in the walls, and so they were like, "Wait, wait, shh, shh." And like he like leans his ear up to the fucking wall, and then like a fucking spike just comes through and fucking penetrates his head. I was like, "God damn, what the fuck!" And I was like, oh, it was the house. The house is fighting back. Or it's the spirit. And then it's like, no, it's a whole <laughs> ass dude that just walked out of the wall right now. What the fuck? Mm. It was oh actually crazy. <laughs> the crazy thing, too, is like, so at the beginning of the movie, uh, these the parents of the boy, uh, they're like, can you babysit him? He's all these things and all this, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, you, they leave, and, like, you see them a little bit later on in, like, a different scene by themselves, and they, like, have, like, cement shoes, and they both just start walking into the ocean together to kill themselves. Because, like, they know, like, their fucking son's about to kill this babysitter. And they don't want to be, like, they don't want to be, like, in charge, and, like, at fault for that or something. It was fucking wild. The entire movie was, like, actually decent. Hmm. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah. I'd say I'm check it out it. if you want a horror night. <laughs> nice. Not really. <laughs> oh, have you guys seen that movie, Palm Springs? Oh, that the... Like pretty sci-fi. Yeah. I have not. Uh, it with... is super with Andy Samberg. Mm-hmm. Um, and can't recall the chick's name. She was but... the mom from How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was the mother? Yeah. <laughs> Give us the synapse. Oh, okay. Um, it's like time travel kind of, and like Groundhog's Day, kind of, and, um... Like, it takes place at a wedding, and this guy does a bunch of drugs and goes out into the desert with this other guy, and they find this cave and go into it, and then they're basically stuck in that day for, like, eternity at that point. And so, like, Andy Samberg is the main guy, and he just redoes the day doing whatever he feels like. And so, like, traveling or replaying that day so he could hook up with everyone at that party or whatever else and so he's hooked up with this one chick a few times but like we don't know that yet i guess and um she follows him to the desert and they're hooking up and then he gets chased by the guy that he like forced to go there with him kind of like that they both were in the cave and they're like big enemies now because they're stuck there forever and so he was getting chased and the girl went into the cave following him, and so now she's trapped in that Groundhog's Day. And Shit. she's, like, obviously very pissed off about it. And it ends up being, like, really romantic in the end, and because they're trapped and they fall in love because they're forced to interact. <laughs> it's also dark because the girl's really pessimistic. Oh. She fucked the groom. Yeah, that too. And it's like her sister, her sister's wedding. So she made her sister's husband cheat. But they're stuck like that Ooh. forever, right? Oh, I mean, in the end it's resolved, but I don't want to spoil how if you guys watch it. Oh. I kind of want to watch it. That seems, yeah, it's that seems on Hulu. It doesn't even take place in Palm Springs, though. Yeah, that's, it's in, that's like, why I was Joshua like, Joshua Tree. Oh, uh, okay. Or, like, Yucca. It's, like, 30 minutes up who the mountain. Fuck, who the fuck is getting married in either one of those places? Yeah. Pretty the there. Desert ain't it. It's not. It's kind of pretty. No, it's not. I'd love to be it's married so in the hot. desert. I've got oh. some nice-ass pictures of that place. Get some misters. Get, some, get a pool going. You got it. It's true what they say. Oh, instead of Bryce, we'll shoot him with the uh, water guns. That'd be cute. <laughs> oh. I mean, yeah, I guess. If it was playful. Uh, I don't know if this is, like, gonna sound horrible. Probably is. But in high school, 
in Anza, uh, anytime someone says, oh, we're going down to uh, Palm Springs or something like that, everyone was always just like, what, so you could talk to old people and gay pool boys? And like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and you were, and you said, where was this again? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but, um, <laughs> But, um, uh, I was always, like, you know, it was, like, why would you just say that? Like, what the fuck? And then, like, I actually went yeah. down to Palm Springs for, like, a swap meet. Old people, gay pool boys. <laughs> like, actually, yeah. like, there's a very large population. It's crazy. A lot of, a lot of old people, a lot of gay people. Oh. A lot of old and gay people. The heat does crazy things to your mind. <laughs> it's scary. It builds your mind. The heat makes you I gay. want dick. <laughs> you start aging progressively faster. <laughs> Honk, he movie. Gasifies you. Movie. Gasifies you. Um, uh, I don't fucking know. I don't like... I have a hard time remembering movies and movie names. Um... But recently, I've watched a couple that are, like, older, like, I don't know, early 2000s or late 90s, like, comedy movies. Mm -hmm. um, just, like, bored. I didn't even know, that, like, what they were. Um, one of them is called Road Trip. That sounds familiar. Have you ever seen it? That sounds yeah, really it's familiar. got, like, it's got a few big actors. Um, and it was actually pretty fucking funny. I didn't know what to expect. But I found out I actually really like the, like, older style comedy movies. And, like, what's funny about them is, like, they can... S Back then, they used to, like, say whatever the fuck they want. Like, yeah. they would yeah. say... Um, fuck, how do I say it without saying it? <laughs> the one Agate word. with an F? Mag you could have said the F slur or... There's there's a few F words though. Well, slur. But I get with an F. Word, but they would say that all the time and like I don't know black facing and stuff and yeah, like black facing was what, retard. I guess album. like they would just drop yeah. all that stuff like it was nothing. And honestly, I don't think there was really a problem with it. People have gotten like so sensitive about black that face stuff. is probably black face is black face is yeah, that one's a bit of an probably, issue. Yeah, that one's pretty rough. But like. Yeah. And probably the F slur too, honestly. I mean, it depends like on the context. Like, if yeah, it's it was... always it's always the context, and it's just a movie. It's not like they're actually trying to be super offensive to these to this stuff. Like, but, if it I, was... I still found the fucking movie funny. Like, if it was like a, I don't even know if that's even right. If it was like a gay character, and like they consented to it maybe i don't fucking know but like mm -hmm. uh I, I think that that could like be lined up to be really funny and just like mm -hmm. like see the offensiveness of it or whatever but right uh, but like if most it's like two commonly, bros no. it'd be like dude bros saying it to each other yeah i don't know if it, i don't dude know if bros. that's like better or worse i don't i think in one of the scenes it was actually like meant in like a negative way like, it was, like, a dude yelling at another guy because he was, like, super pissed at him and he was, like, trying to be a dick. Mm -hmm. Oh. So the antagonist uh, was saying it. Yeah. Yeah, the antagonist. Then I guess it's it. okay because we don't already don't like him. Sure. True. You, it's situational, I, I guess. If it yeah. helps the story, fine. But if it's just, like, pointless, I don't, I don't see why... They would need to include the episode. Yeah, like if yeah. it's if it's like a something based but like on like adds to character like progression or like to help you understand how that character is something like that. Maybe I'm pretty sure but... in these movies it was pretty like pointless. For just pointless, I hate yeah. that. But back then in the '90s, people yeah. like this was made for like stoners and like yeah. people who go to fucking yeah they're college. like stoner type movies like they're not interested in like really sophisticated like character building like we do now it's mm -hmm. more like i want to fart i want booby jokes i want i want this guy to be i don't know 
It's yeah, just, right. mm-hmm. just turn your brain off. That's pretty much it. Yeah. It's like brain dead stoner type comedy. movies. Like just yeah. like pointless comedy. Like they're not meant to be taken seriously in any way. But <laughs> that's funny because <laughs> I actually <laughs> like the movies. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know. They were, they were I was like, wait, what was the point of this again? <laughs> yeah. The movie hunk? Um, one of them was called Road Trip, and the other was Observe and Report. And that one has Seth Rogen. Uh, oh. But he's, like, pretty young. I think he's it still, might have been before though. Pineapple Express. And it has... Um, that was a good one. What's her name? Mm, you know the blonde dumb bitch from Scream? I think, uh, isn't her name Buffy or something? Wait, like Buffy? Is like or, the, um, the actor's actual name is Buffy? No, that's not I her name. So, let me look it up. Something uh, Kendrick, I think. Kendrick Sweet Lamar. Get out of my head. Anna Ferris. Oh, uh. Anna Ferris. You said that's Scream, a uh, scary movie. That's what you're looking for. Scary movie, that's right. That's an awful go, person. Do not day. mix those two together. I'm sorry. Oh, They're both <laughs> scary. Ookie, ookie. Yeah, you know, Anna Ferris. I think Epic Anna Movie Ferris. actually had a bunch of like uh, of that kind of comedy. Like the would have been offensive now, but not back then kind of yeah. stuff. Like... I think the first three scary movies were the best, like parody movies. They were so. How many are there? They were the the one with Charlie Sheen at the very beginning, where he just dies via boner. Because he was fucking with Lohan or something. You know, he took like an entire thing of Viagra, thinking he'd OD on it. Oh, he tried hitting his dick down. <laughs> yeah, and then the cat like jumps on it and it like makes him fall off the balcony. And he's just, oh his dick hit the ground. So he's just like sitting, like the imprint of his dick is in the ground. And he's like just like slopped over his dick. It's so fucking funny. Oh Jeez. my gosh. <laughs> that I really want to rewatch that now, actually. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I also loved Anchorman. Wait, I, I I can't even... Okay, okay. I can literally talk about, like, old comedies all fucking night, but we only have, like, 20 minutes left of this episode. Oh, my God. So let's try to, let's yeah. try to, let's try to fit in a few more things here, all right? Okay. Um, uh, Avatar. Do... Avatar. Avatar. Avatar, absolutely. Which one? So... Uh, your what... element of choice. Yeah, what element would you choose as, like, your bending and why? I want to listen to you first. Me? Yes. Yeah, yes. you first. A water bending, obviously. Because Called it. I want a blood bend. Obviously. Oh, that's illegal. <laughs> Doesn't mean wait, I don't wait, want to do you it. Wait, what are you trying to blood bend, though? Well, Snap anyone it on who Alan gets Dick? in my way. <laughs> yeah, round two, come on. <laughs> oh, oh I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> He's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, all that blood that was gonna go into like his fucking his whole system is now in his dick. So it's just like you're like he's literally just making him levi- cock You're just making him like levitate via dick. He's like, he's like fucking passed out. He's just slumped over, levitating. Like, oh my god, easy. Give me a cock goblin. <laughs> Come here, my pretty. <laughs> he's like super pale. He has no, no blood on his face. Oh, God. He's like, just fucking knocked out, eyes rolled to the back of his head and shit. Just picturing the oh, it's six o'clock time for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. It's <laughs> Jorin. <laughs> You know that like uh that dance move that people do like the rope where you like like kind of reel uh, someone in. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just imagining the. <laughs> <fun. laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I already knew Alyssa was gonna go with water. She's yeah. I she's a healer, and so it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kelly. Now, there's so much more to water though. 
Yeah, ice. but it's ice. ice. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There's also the fact that like you don't need like an actual body of water. Like it's all in the air and like mm-hmm. plants and shit. You know. True. Like, it's like sweat. The more common, definitely for like, or more more easy access for bending. I guess, or I guess it's, air. It's kind of the bending. least access, but also the most access. Right. Not the most. No, but the least would be. It's just more fire. than you would think. No. If you can't. Not make fire. It would be fire. air. You can produce your own fire. Yeah. It would be earth bending because. But that's just no, because what if you're on a boat? Yeah. Oh, on a boat. Yeah, I guess on a boat would be. Yeah, air bending would be the, the most accessible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Water probably. I would choose air bending. For fucking sure, I would. Would you go bald? I can I would go absolutely bald see air Kelly bending. with the fucking ang tattoo. Yeah. I would do that to fucking fly to 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 make yep. a little balls to fucking to, to yeah. zoom around. <laughs> Have a little opera. A little it, opera. It's basically the fucking force. If you want to like, like yeah. you know, oh, yeah. that was so fucking cool. Dude, when I was good. little, I wanted a water bend, but now I'm an air bending boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could see it too. Airbenders are actually fucking terrifying because, like, they would be the strongest bender if they weren't so passive. Because they can literally oh, yeah. like suck. Yeah, I-, I think in Legend of Korra, they literally like yeah. suck the fucking air out of someone's lungs. Out of Korra's. <laughs> they did that to Korra. Yeah, she yeah, fucking so died. Her, basically, yeah. Jesus Christ! She literally full on died. That shit's dark. Yep. Yeah, Korra was so dark. She was fucking the worst Avatar. <laughs> yeah. But it was, like, more relatable at the same time. I think that's why it was good. I guess. Because she was a girl. No, because of how many times she failed. And, like, yeah, it didn't also... seem um, like it wasn't her fault. Like, Aang's, it all seem, seemed, like, out of his control. While Korra's, it all seemed because of her. Uh, yeah, that Cora is really true. Because actually. of herself, she yeah. was way too arrogant and cocky. Yeah. Huh. But yeah. That uh, actually makes a lot of sense. Moles, me or you? Uh, you go for it. Um, I think I, I really want to say fire, but I think earth could be cool. But I would say earth if like earth bending and metal bending were like a more or earth bending and Fuck, metal bending and lava bending. If those were like a more common mm-hmm. ability with earth bending, well, I'd say earth bending. Well, let's just well, like we're, add that we're to doing all hypothetical them, yeah. like because blood bending also isn't that common. And then there's also well, like I feel like, like no one even really too. knew about it, so no one really tried for it. Right. Well, like there's a lot of like variables with all the different uh, bending styles. Like with air, like does that mean you only control like they are around you or can you like can like contain gaseous things uh fucking mm-hmm. water with the blood the ice uh earth with sand and metal and then fire with lightning and shit like that right I fucking love that lightning power yeah that's pretty sick i think i think they've all got like their subclasses of different elements which is really i mean yeah. air doesn't really have any very well, not that we've like seen though you know what i mean like i just said like the gas thing like, like why why wouldn't they be able to do that <laughs> i mean what do you mean gas though like and it makes like, sense that we know the least amount about air because there was they all did him yeah and yeah. also probably because they couldn't exactly make an airbender a fucking german soldier nazi <laughs> the yeah. fucking gas <laughs> So, right. I mean, they did suck the soul out of Korra, but that's that's different, I guess. Now, I feel like there was something with gas in the show. Oh, no, yeah, the no, there was like a gas leak at the last temple for he the Air Nomads. He and... didn't bend it, though. Yeah, they just blew that shit up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Did. You're right. Okay. Well, I think I think I'd go earthbending then. 
I really want to say fire, but it I just doesn't have as much practical use. Right. Mm. Like earthbending, you could do whatever the fuck you, you could. You could build a house. You could build a mansion. You can with the with the mend with the metal bending and shit, and then the lava bending. I could I can work some motherfuckers. Wait, can is that earthbender thing with the lava bending? Yeah, yeah it was in Korra. Oh. Um, oh, and also like one other avatar could do it, right? I think no, it was um. Kiyoshi should be. Able it was to like it, a right? villain guy that like you originally saw it with, and then Bolin out of nowhere found out that he could do it. Mm-hmm. I feel like Kiyoshi probably could have been able to do that. No, oh, she was nuts. Um, I mean, like, all right. Well, my answer is Earth. Um, I really thought Hector was gonna go with fire. And I really thought I was to, too. I, th- I thought we were gonna have like the quad answer here. Like, all for it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that would be pretty cool, but I guess I'll fucking be. bandwagon off Honk. So he pretty much made every point that I fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> you would think like fire because like the hair and like I love red and shit like that, I guess. I don't right. know. But like uh honestly Hector made like a really good point. Like Earth you can just fucking levitate and shit like if you're bending a boulder up that means you can stand on that same fucking boulder like yeah like you can exactly. just like move around not even thinking about it and then there's i didn't even know you can lava bend that's pretty solid uh mm-hmm. metal bending is going to be useful if i just want a house i make one it's it does all seem very 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 convenient yeah. yep uh my i was like well i mean fire also has like you could fly with the fire that's pretty fucking cool yeah i think yeah, i think, I think there's mobility with that, all character i mean with all elements right yeah like water you can like ride a wave i think mm-hmm. water not as much like you can't fly with water oh, no but, but you can ride mobility a wave. in a fashion mm-hmm. or can you if you froze an ice block and then levitate it could could you Maybe. So I don't think I ever just, saw anyone do that. Yeah, these are just no. questions like no one ever like answers. Yeah. Which really sucks. But there's also yeah, I don't know. Um Earth though, like one hundred percent. I I feel like I just like my sheer girth in itself, I feel like I need to be an earthbender. Like I like I, I look like a fucking be the sumo. Rock. The rock is not immune. It's about <laughs> the boulder. You mean well, the, the boulder? The boulder. The boulder. <laughs> the boulder. The rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> is not the immune. Rock. He is the boulder. <laughs> the <Same> boulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Yeah. Wow. But I, I just feel like pra- it, yeah. it can do a lot of shit that you would need it to do. It's like, oh, I don't really feel like moving that over there. Yeah, let me just do that with my mind really quick and just scoot it over with the land. Uh, it requires some hand gestures, too. Does it? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, like it requires, it requires like, like some, like, stiff movements. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like you have to be, like, strong in order to be an earthbender. Unless you're tough, and then you're just... You're really just yeah. Professor Xing that shit. Hmm. So okay, but with everyone's choice of element, would you like say in the actual Avatar world, would you be like comfortable living in their like what's like the word their their, biome? their like land their biome. or their <laughs> the Earth King, environment the water the water the region yeah their habitat. Sure. <laughs> <The animals. laughs> yeah, I live at the North or South Pole. I would love that. Fuck that wow. shit. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm gonna be real, Alyssa. Like, that sounds like a fucking awful like not even idea. like not even just like the actual environment, like the culture too. Like you'd always be eating fish and ice. And I guess. Ice. Yep. Fish and and Kelly, you'd have to be vegetarian. And... Oh, oh, true. Yeah. As an air nomad, you'd be, you'd be a vegetarian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna scoop a shit ton of bunnies into my mouth. <laughs> my air powers. <laughs> a bunch of fucking like earthworms. It like, was, was gonna fuck. fucking like. He's gonna cook a momo. What the fuck? 
<laughs> grill up a momo for fucking dinner. I'll air fry a bunch of fucking dead oh, beans. Oh god! Some <laughs> fucking oppa toes in there. Fucking nuggets. oh my god! <laughs> what the hell, man? He was gonna. Yeah, like... you're you're exiled. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not. You're not one of us. Uh, leave. What? Wow. I'm the most powerful one. Oh, probably. No. Oh wait, no, none of us are Fire Nation. Just kidding. They yeah. eat those um the spicy ones. The spicy this, ones. Yeah, they eat spicy food. Uh, I think of them. all of them, I'd want to live in the Fire Kingdom the most, though. No. Nah. Food sounds pretty dope. Nah. The food sounds good, and just like I don't know, the environment seems cool. The opportunity I to see a zoo. There's nothing really around. neat. Oh, yeah. And dragons. <laughs> the two yeah. dragons. I don't think they have anything left. like crazy different about their culture either. Like, Well, no, Alyssa uh, was saying that they do gravitate towards the spicy stuff, which is absolutely true. I'm saying like like how air, nom- bleh, air nomads are vegetarian, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you mean, yeah. Like, there's Earth? nothing like. Earth, Crazy I just feel like you fantastic. have like a lot more diversity throughout all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you can have whatever you want. Like, yeah, the Earth there. Kingdom seemed like the melting pot of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty solid stuff. Probably, could, I mean, the Earth Kingdom is like the biggest too. That's probably why. Yeah. Uh, I'd I'd live in uh, not Bossing Say. What the fuck was the? Uh... Kiyoshi Island? No. Uh, uh, Boomy's fucking place. Omashu. Omashu. I'd probably live in Omashu. Yeah. That shit's pretty cool. Mm. I think it's a little too city. city. We do, yeah, we very do city. hate our... Fu- oh, that's a lot of cabbage, like though. I, what the fuck? I'd like to live in a village. Not very city. Well, like, see, when you said you want to, like, live in the tribes, I was like, I'm pretty sure the buildings themselves are made out of ice. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, they have igloos. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, that sounds awful. You want to live in the snow? You want to live in the snow. Like, you're you're living in the snow. Like, my house made of snow. You're sleeping in snow. How is your bed made of snow? The bed is literally (laughs) a giant ice block. How the fuck? PC always going to be cool. But how (laughs) the fuck? How do you plug that bitch in? Electricity. You know, that's uh, the other thing in I never Korra, they were more modernized. Yeah, that's not the, that's the thing I never understood, right? So like they went to the North Pole, I think, in Korra, and it mm-hmm. looked like they started making stuff out of like wood this time and like it wasn't like as dark and like uh shit like that. Like when it when they went in Avatar, like the last airbender, it was like dark and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so you couldn't really like see like the details of the city, but in Korra it looked like they like modernized it a bit. It was like made of wood for a lot of portions and shit like that, which was cool. But then like I forgot the name of the city that uh that Korra you know actually lived in. Oh, well, I don't remember it. Actually. It was just the South Pole. No, that wasn't no. Uh, I'm talking about the oh Republic city. city. Yeah, Republic City. So like, yeah. that had to have been the Earth Kingdom, right? Because that's they said it that, was a that, part of the Earth Kingdom. Yeah. 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 So, like, what did happen to like shit like the North Pole? You know what I mean? Like, there's no way they just left it as fucking ice and called it a day. You know what I mean? Like, if there's electricity, how did what did they do? What do you mean? If there's they like, modernized. Did they though? Like all I saw was like yeah. maybe wooden huts. No, I'm pretty sure they modernized quite a bit. Even the South Pole, like it grew like exponentially. Like, mm. you know, they had like whole, oh, they had a whole ass festival thingy. I remember. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was like nearly as modernized as Republic City, but it was definitely up and coming. I wonder what Republic. I wonder if Republic City was something that we knew of or if it was just like this new city that was founded you know no I mean? it was it was a new city they explain it all in Korra. yeah i don't fucking remember man yeah it was like i don't know the whole point of i think the third season it might be was that like they kind of just took that land from the earth kingdom and the new tyrant of the earth kingdom wanted to 
take it back by force. What? Like, yeah, so they just like started a city on an empty piece of land and grew it. And the Earth King hated that? No, it was um, Kovira was her name. She was like the Hitler of Avatar. Oh, cool. Always did one of yeah. those. Progressive yep. story. <laughs> anyway, uh, we should probably wrap it up there. Uh, we did just hit our hour mark and Hector has uh, some dick to get sucked. So, uh, anyway, uh, that was episode 14. Thank you guys uh, for listening to that one. It's been fun talking to Alyssa, Kelly, and Honk, as we always do. Uh, this time, there was no foreskins mentioned until just now, but, you know. Um, <laughs> I'll be we should have had one episode. <laughs> we should have had one. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even let us have one. We were almost days done. days without talking about foreskin. <laughs> and at zero. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ruined it. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> Damn. That's going to be our call. That's going to be our t-shirt. Uh, maybe I will not be repping our brand. <laughs> I will not wear any. Oh come on! We can't, we can't I think learn. I think we should close out each episode with like, do you think this person circumcised? Leave it. You, leave oh your answer down in the absolutely. comments. Oh my, that is a, who do you, okay? Who do we want okay. to ask? Do you think Obama is circumcised? Leave your answer down in the leave comments. Every, every like, nice. share with your friends. <laughs> Every like is yes, every dislike is no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and check out the other episodes. They're all in the playlist, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.